No, bo... Ooh, this thing seems kind of poor. Alright friends, welcome to the coding live streams. Mr. Jengis right here from Code Speak Labs. And um, yeah, can I get an Owa Owa? Uh, owa Owa. Please, just because you said please, M Melissa. Owa Owa. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you guys see me? Okay. Or is it lagging or do you hear me fine please let me know in the chat oh, oh, oh. all right let me put some information up here too as people are coming in boom, 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 boom. Hello, coders. welcome to the live stream oh, that was a long one Welcome to the live stream. Okay. The um, Jenga is here from www. Oh, I should do this in blue because links are usually in blue. Boom. www.codespeaklabs.com slash register. And everyone, please, 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 please uh, like and subscribe please please i do say pls please please do it all right friends we're about to get started yeah okay all right Okay, everyone yes today we are doing something a little bit different we are making an entire game this is a whole game it's called the balloon popping game this is gonna be a thing where there's gonna be like balloons showing up and then when you click on the balloons they pop and the more balloons you can pop the better so for this project today first step one um, first of all, let me actually give you guys uh, the instructions for Scratch to code with me. If you want to code with me, you can totally do that. Um, I make it a little bit smaller. To go code with me, you can go to Scratch. Uh, first, go to scratch.mit.edu. I'll put the link into the chat as well. Hola. Hola everyone. Hola Lu Lucas. Hi Raven. Oh wow, people are coming in. Who else? Oh, okay, people are coming in. Uh, friends, you can find the Scratch link in the chat. You can just click on that to go to Scratch. And after you go to scratch.mit.edu, sign in if you have an account. So if you have an account on Scratch, you can save your work. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but if you don't have an account, you can just click on create. Or, or just watch. You know, you don't have to uh, do the whole coding thing with me. Or you can just watch. You can do this with me. Or you can just watch. And friends, uh, I also want to let you know. Let me put this in red actually, right? Um, this live stream is being recorded yes this will be up on youtube so friends please can you say hi to youtube 
Can you say hi to YouTube in the chat? Everyone, say hi to YouTube. Oh, nice. Oh, maybe I should move my face down a little bit. Right. I can move my face down here. Nice, yes. Okay. Whew. Hopefully that's better. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Hi, YT. Hi. Oh, nice. Oh, hi, Marcus. Hello. Yes, friends, you are famous right now. Yes, you're being part of the whole YouTube algorithm system thingy. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, let's delete all this stuff and let's get started with the steps. Step one. Make a balloon. Make a balloon. Yes, it's a balloon game after all. So first, we're going to make a balloon by clicking on that um, cat face thingy down here it's like a cat face with a plus sign you can click on that button to choose a sprite if you haven't done scratch before friends this is the, this might be the first thing that you learn you click on this choose a sprite button and you can find all of the sprites in here and one of them is balloon Balloon! Sorry, I had cap locks on. Cap locks on. Okay. Alright, yes. Balloon. I'm gonna choose that balloon sprite and say bye bye cat. I love saying bye bye cat. Bye bye cat. And get rid of that cat. Bam. Alright, so I have a balloon. You might not be able to see my balloon. Let me move my face a little bit. Oh, oh. oh, that's enough. So, friends, I clicked on that little face, cat face with the plus sign. And I made a balloon. That's the first step. Hi, Captain J. Oh, nice. My, my streaming quality is better now. All right. Let's get started with the code. So that's it, really. First, we just need to make uh, a balloon and then we get right into the coding with this project. So step two. Let's make this balloon hide. Yes. So when green flag is clicked, we're going to say when green flag is clicked, hide. Yes, this is a really common thing that we do in Scratch. In the beginning, we hide the sprite so that we can make many, many clones of them. We hide the original and we only show the clones. So this way we can change the difficulty of the game however we want. We can make many clones or we can make a few clones and that'll change the difficulty of the game. So when you click on a green flag, what's gonna happen? The balloon is gonna go away. Bam, no balloon. Uh, Abby, yes, we're going to pop the balloons. We're going to click on the balloons and they will pop on their own. Really good question. All right, after that, we go to control and then grab that repeat 10 block. So repeat 10 block. You can change the 10 to however many balloons that you want. So there's a 10 right here, right? Oops. There's a 10 right here. Nice. You don't have to make it 10. How many balloons do you want? So that number will, is the number of balloons you like in your project in the beginning. I'm going to keep mine at 10. I'm going to see 10 balloons in the screen all of a sudden. <laughs> yes, there is 8 people watching right now. But why not subscribe and like? I see that only 4 of you have uh, liked, uh, like, and a subscribe, please, and I do say please, bam, 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 okay, so how many balloons do you want, I want 10 in this case, and these are not going to be the actual balloons, these are going to be clones, so I'm going to go to control, and inside control, at the very, very bottom, is a block called create a clone of myself, put that inside the repeat 10. Nice. 
Oh wow, now we have 8 likes. Now there is 10 of you watching and 2 of you did not like. What? I'm joking friends, please, please be honest with your likes because with your likes I can improve this um, live stream. Okay, so we got this thing going on. This is the step 2. Decide how many clones you want to make. The thing is, when you have the original that is hidden, if you make clones of a hidden object, the clones are also hidden. So we're going to need to show those clones. When I start as a clone, show. So all these orange blocks, the repeat 10, create a clone. When I start as a clone, you can find them all inside control. The clone blocks are at the very, very bottom. So these are the clone blocks. There are three of them. We're going to get to use all of them at some point. But that's where you can find those create clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, where can you find the purple blocks? You can find the purple blocks inside looks. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can find show and hide next to each other. Whoa, yeah, somebody disliked what? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the numbers. The numbers might not be um, exact. Okay. We have this code. Let's try it out. So let me uh, delete all of this. And when you click on the green flag, we should get 10 clones and we should be able to see them. So let's try this out. Let's click on a green flag. Boom. What happened? Okay, okay, let me uh, click on a green flag one more time. Boom. There should be 10 clones in there, but I don't see them. Where are the clones? Where? are the clones interesting who are I'm um, you you are me no so you are you now an interesting philosophical discussion here mm, mm. so friends where are the clones I'm clicking on a green flag and there should be 10 clones of this balloon but I see only one. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> Let me move my face a little bit here more so that you can see the, that I have a balloon sprite right here. Yeah, the clones only showed once. But I said repeat 10 times. What's going on? Uh, so yeah, Fiona, if you actually move the, the balloons, you'll see that all the balloons are there. The 10 balloons, the 10 clones, they are there. But they are behind each other, so they are overlapping. And if you move them, you'll see that there are 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 clones right here. If you click on a green flag again, boom, all the clones appear in the same place again. You just have to move them around. Okay, this is kind of cool. All right, but I, wanna, I don't want to move them around. I want them to be already moved around. So let's try that. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, friends. Let's put this clone block right here. Okay, when I start as a clone. Okay, this is our code so far for this. When you click on a green flag, you get 10 clones. It might look like one, but if you move them, you'll see that they are behind each other. So we have 10 clones. We just gotta do stuff with them. Okay, and that code is gonna go inside here. First, let's do this. Go to random position. If you go to motion, you'll find this block. Go to random position. Mm -hmm. mm. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Hi, Rich. <laughs> um, yes. I'm guessing this is like a song lyric, maybe? Yes, okay, so when I click on a green flag now, I get 10 uh, balloons in a random position. Let me do that again. Click on the green flag, bam! Click on the green flag. They, every time you click on a green flag, you're going to get 10 balloons in random locations on the screen. Let me try this this way. Click on a green flag, bam! 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 bam, bam. Really nice. Yeah, it sounds like a song. I wish I could play songs, you guys, but 
there is a thing called copyright so it's not gonna be possible i don't know i can get free music from people but i don't think you would know those songs i don't know those songs uh, usually the songs i want to play they are copyrighted all right and after this we're gonna add a forever guys Uh, so it was a uh, owa owa, and now Madison says uh, owa owa, owa owa. Hi Madison. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's check this out. Okay, so I have a forever block in here. Next, I want these balloons to start moving around, so I can do this in a different kind of way. Let me see. I want these balloons to move around, so I'm definitely going to use the motion blocks. And there are some blocks in here that I kind of, kind of like. Let me see. Point in direction random, I could do that. Alright, let me do this. I'm going to say, set rotation style left and right. So this is going to make it so that the balloon doesn't turn, it only flips. So it either goes left or right. And it also goes up and down, but it only like flips, it doesn't look in the direction of up or down. The rotation will only be towards the left or the right. Hmm. And inside the forever, I'm going to put a move block. All right, that kind of looked weird. So if you click on a green flag now, this happens. All the balloons just kind of go to the right, which is kind of cool. But what would be more cool is if you add this block right here. These are all from the motion category, if on edge bounce. So if you browse inside the motion category, go down a little bit, it's right there. It's called if on edge bounce. It's a great block to have. And immediately it starts to um to bounce around let me do that one more time nice really nice we already have balloons going around and stuff nice okay i'm gonna do a pause right there uh friends if you haven't already i see that yes there is 11 of you i see you yes I, uh, yes i don't actually see you you can only see me but if you uh, are watching this and you haven't uh, liked the video yet, at the very bottom, you can like the video. And you can also subscribe, friends, so that you can get updates about the live streams. If there's a new one, you'll get an update about it right away. And please, like and subscribe, please. And friends, if you want to check out uh, live classes like this one uh, in Zoom and everything for after school or for camp, you can check out our website, codespeaklabs.com slash register. Ba -ba 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 -bam. I need a soundboard. Ba -ba 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 -bam. So, Alan. So. All right, friends. Um, I'm gonna do this from here. Oh, do you guys? Can you guys see that? All right. So uh, I'll delete this. Okay. I, I have a few things that I want to improve about my game. All right. So we got these balloons, which is great. But um, hmm, I want to make them a little bit smaller and a little bit slower. So I'm gonna ask you guys. How can I make the balloons uh, slower or, and smaller? So I want to do two things. I want to make these balloons slower and smaller. How can I make these balloons slower and smaller? So there's two things that I got to do. Let me actually open this up. 
This might give you a hint. And I'll move this down. Whoa, whoa. Nava says, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a, that's a song. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Rich and Alan are having a discussion about games. Okay. All right. Yes, friends. Tell me, how can I make these bl balloons slower and smaller? Maybe I should move this guy a little bit. Huh? Yes. Fiona got one of them. Change the size at the bottom. So at the bottom right here, guys. Ooh. Oh. Let me say something. Yes. At the bottom right here, there's a number right there. I'm going to zoom, actually, because you got to really, really see this. If you look at the very, very bottom, yes, right here, you can see the size number. It's 100 right now, and I'm going to change it to 50. Now, when I click on a green flag... I get 50 small, I mean 10 small balloons that are size 50. Great. Great. But how can I make the balloons um, slower? How can I make the balloons slower? That's my next question. Okay. All right. You don't know? Oh, okay. Well, the answer is somewhere around in the movement block somewhere. Maybe I can give you a hint or something. How can I make the balloons slower? Ooh, a stop block would stop everything. But these balloons are moving. I like that, that they're moving. They're moving at a certain steps. How can I change that? So it's slow. Okay, yes, we got it. Instead of move 10 steps, you can say move 5 steps. And once you do that, immediately all those balloons, they start slowing down. Alright, this is much, much, much better. Let me zoom out a little bit. Bam. Awesome. Yes, Fiona, thank you for telling me four times. Yes. Okay, all right, so we, we, we got something going on. I like these balloons. They're kind of cool. You can even make them change color if you want to. Um, but I'm going to keep that away for now. Let's define what happens when they are clicked. So when this sprite clicked block, that's the next block that we're going to use. Let me put this to the top, top, top. When this sprite clicked... Oh, wow, 13 people out here. Oh. oh, Fiona, were you sending that before? Um, hmm, interesting. Fiona, I saw all your messages just now. Four of them, back to back. I don't know what happened there. All right, when this sprite is clicked, I want to, yes, I want to explode it. But there are some languages out there with an exploding function that is predefined for us. But we got to define to scratch what exploding kind of means. So I'm going to try this. When this sprite is clicked, we can, we're going to add another repeat block. Let's go to control and add a repeat block. Okay. And then go to looks. So inside looks is a block that I like a lot. It's called change color effect by 25. So friends, yes, try this code out. Let's keep it at this, right? Let's just f first try this out. When you click on the balloons, they should start changing color. They're gonna do it 10 times for 25 effect. And they all kind of turn purple when you click on them now, which is kind of cool. Okay, let me stop that. But what if, when you multiply 10 by 25, you get 250. If that number was 100, let's see what would happen. If you multiply 10 by 10, that would be 100. So we got this. Ooh. 
Okay. Maybe I can try 100. Let's try that. Let's see what would happen then. Oh, wow. That went crazy. So, yeah, friends. Try this out. Uh, maybe I can show it to you in big, big screen. Uh, click on one of the balloons. And they change color. Bam. 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 It's kind of cool. Okay. All right. But what if, what if we click on the change color effect and we click on pixelate. So pixelate is an effect here that obviously pixelates the balloon, but it can pixelate it until it's gone. Like you can't even pixelate it anymore. It's just gone. So let's see what that looks like. I click on it and it pixelate that much. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can pixelate it even more. Let's try 25 again. Click on a green flag. I like that. It pixelates a lot. Let's do it more. Uh, pixelate 50. Effect by 50. Nice. So they just turn into two pixels. Really quickly, they turn into two pixels. Which is really cool. If you click on them more, they'll, yeah, they'll turn into uh, even less pixels. Okay. All right. But the thing is, there are still balloons out here. Okay. I'm going to add some more um, code to this. When this sprite is clicked, after you do the pixelating animation, delete this clone. Bam. That's it. This is the whole project right here. Yes. Click on a green flag and destroy the balloons. Bam, bam. Pixelate them. We can even add sounds in here. like, And we can add a score. And we can add a time limit. All kinds of things. So I want you guys to decide on what happens next. Because uh, I don't have enough time to do all of those things. What should I do next? And, and the options are, one, add score, two, add time limit, or three, add sounds. So you can vote as one, two, or three. What should I do next? Let me actually put this up here too. Uh... What should I do next? One score, two time limit, and three sounds. All right, I'm getting. Oh, let me keep count of this. I have paper for it. Okay, score one, two, three, score. Sounds is one. Score, Ellen says four. Because I am pro, okay. Um, four, okay. Four people said score, any more? And friends, by the way, I, th I did notice that there are 14 of you watching, but not all of you have lights. Only nine of you have lights. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Plus. Uh, Rich, please understand, and Alan, understand that uh, you are in a public discussion and you have no right to take it over with your own discussions. Uh, I'm going to have to remove both of you. It's not worth it, you guys. Nice. Yes. And we have uh, four or three more likes just now. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. All right. I think it looks like most of you said score. Yes. Score would make this game a lot more fun. Okay. Let's try this out. To make a score, guess what? 
we need a variable. Yes, so we're going to go to variables on the left side. Go to the variables category right here. And click on make a variable. So make a variable is something right here. There's a button right here at, the, at variables. And here, make a variable named score. So pretty simple, make a variable named score. You don't have to touch anything else, just click on OK, and then you will have a variable called score. And I'll click on make a variable, we'll call it score. OK. Nice, thanks Abby, thanks Melissa, thanks Marcus, thanks Vortron134. Yes, so what I did was, guys, I clicked on the make a variable button and I typed score. This is score and click on OK. That's it. Can you guys see that OK button? Is my face hiding it? Sorry. Uh, yes, but there's an OK button right there. Oh, you can't see it. OK. There's an OK button there. And you can just click on it to make the score variable. All right. So, friends, there is a green flag right here, right? Let's move this guy up here. Now, and let's move this guy here. Okay. Whew. All right. So in the beginning, we need to set the score to zero. This is for every game. When you begin a game, the score you have is going to be zero. So we have to tell the computer that. Let's grab a set block. Set my variable to zero. Put it under the green flag. It needs to be under the green flag. That's when our program begins. Set instead of my variable change my variable to score. So friends, this part is really, really important. We made a variable named score. So we got to use that variable. Instead of using this variable called my variable, use score. Set score to zero. Bam. And then, and then when this sprite is clicked, when you click on one of these uh, balloons, change score by one. So this is a change variable block. This is a change score by one. And make sure, guys, I want to stress this out. Yes, you got to make sure that these are scores. Okay. All right. So after you have these two blocks, you make a variable first, then add set score to zero under when green flag clicked, and add change score by one under when this sprite is clicked. So whenever I click on a sprite, the score will change by one. Let's test this out. Um, I'm gonna quickly, quickly test this out. I'll click on a green flag. Okay, bam, I got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we did it. That was pretty easy, right? Or not? Let me know, friends, in the chat. How did it go? Did it work? In technology, friends, the things usually don't work. So in my life, most things in my life do not work. But when things do work, it makes me really, really happy. So please let me know in the chat if your program worked. You're going to click on a green flag and just click on the balloons to destroy them. Each time you click on a balloon, you should get one more score. Nice. All right. Okay. Next up, I think we're going to have time to do one more thing, or maybe two more things. Uh, sounds. What's it? Sounds or time limit. Nice, Melissa, it worked. Hi, Samuel. Yep, that's right, Abby. Sounds, says Melissa. Yes, friends, let me put it in the chat too. Uh, sounds or time limit. I'm also thinking we can also make more balloons appear. Or should we make more balloons appear? Appear when you click one balloon. So like... You know, this can be like viral things. So we start with one balloon. 
When you click on it, we get two balloons. When you click on it, we get four balloons. When you click on those, you get eight balloons. When you click on those, you get 16, 32, 64, stuff like that. We can do like many, many balloons appear when you click on one. Okay, time limit. Okay, all right. Time limit. Alyssa says, and Fiona says, but Melissa said sounds. So it's two to one right now. Is there more votes? Time limit. Mm. Oh, Melissa now says balloons appear. Okay, let's do time limit first, and then maybe we'll have time to do more balloons appearing. Okay. Whew. This is going to be tough. Because if we knew that we were going to do a time limit in the beginning, um, that would have been useful. But we can make it happen now. Because why not, right? Okay, so let me put some code away. So all this code is still there, right? But I'm just going to zoom over on this side. Maybe I can do something like this. And in here, I'm going to do a forever if. So when green flag is clicked, forever if. This is what I call a forever if. Whenever I say forever if, this is what that looks like. Uh, when green flag is clicked, forever if then. Um, so inside the condition, let's say, I do think there is a timer block right here. Let me see what a timer block looks like. Yes, okay. Yes, there is a timer block. So if you click on a check mark, you, go, you first go to sensing guys. Inside the sensing category is a little timer block. It's called timer. And if you click on a little check mark next to it, you'll actually get to see the timer in your project. So if you click on a little check mark next to the timer variable, you'll actually get to see the timer. When you reach 30 seconds, you lose, let's say. So I'm going to say if uh, let's first go to operators, friends, and grab this block. Uh, yes, I I'm going to use this block. This is the safer way of doing it, I think. Okay, so I'm going to say if time is greater than 30. So let's grab that time bl block. I go to sensing and grab the timer and put it inside the, fir the first bubble. If timer is greater than 30. So if more than 30 seconds have passed by, then stop everything. Yes, if you go to control, I think some of you mentioned it before. I think you mentioned it before. There is a block called stop all. So let me show you guys. The, all of the other codes are still here, guys. I just made this timer code right here. So this is the timer code. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna work exactly. Let's test this out. I'll click on a green flag. And uh, after 30 seconds, the game should stop. All right. And after this, friends, just as a bonus, before we do a Kahoot game, I want to show you how you can multiply all these balloons and make many, many, many of them. When you click on one, we can make two uh, balloons. All right. So my timer is about to reach 30. Let's see what happens when I reach 30. Awesome. So everything stops. Uh, and and so yeah, what, what, how would you how would you win the game, Fiona? I think it would be about high scores. So how many scores can you get if you if you um, you know ha what's your high score? And if you claim that you have thirty, then you have thirty. We can do a high score code in there too. But it's really up to you, Fiona. How would you want to win in this game? Or do you want to win in this game? Maybe it's like a game where you are, when you're stressed, you just pop these balloons. It's kind of like popping those packaging papers. You know? Okay. This next code will make more balloons appear. All right, so, I mean, you have 30 seconds, you have 10 balloons. I think you can make more balloons. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this out. Let's zoom out a little bit. 
I'm going to the script that begins with when this sprite is clicked. I'm going to this part of the code. And in here, when we click on a balloon, you change score by one, you pixelate for, for some time, and then the balloon gets deleted. What if before the balloon gets deleted, we create a clone of this balloon? A clone of the clone. And what if we just, because the original clone is gonna, you know, disappear, it's gonna get deleted, there will be one more clone. What if we made two clones for each of the deleted clones? Yeah. So add two blocks to create clone of myself in here. So that's, that's like one and two. You could also use a repeat two, create clone of myself. You can say repeat three, repeat four. You can use a repeat block here too to uh, repeat this clone making thing. All right, let's see if this works. Oh guys, yes, I can show it to you right here. When this sprite is clicked, repeat 10 times, change pixel effect, then create two clones and delete this clone. We're gonna create clones of the clone. Clones of the clone of the clone. All right, let's try this out. Oh. Interesting. This happened. And you can click on them again to destroy them. That's kind of cool. So, it's not what I thought it was going to be. The clones turned out to have... The clones of the clones. By the way, my high score is 25. What's your high score? What happened here was... the Because we pixelate the clone. When we make a clone of the clone... That clone is also pixelated. Bubble wrap, that's what that's called. Okay, I did not mean to make that happen. Uh, but it was kind of fun. My high score is 25. What is yours? Because eventually those clones will get deleted or hidden. Because you can only pixelate them so much. After you pixelate them a lot... It just becomes no pixels. Let me try this one more time. I'm going to try to beat my own high, sco high score. Bam. Bam. Three. Ooh, if I had made these faster, this would have been a harder game. Oof, I missed that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, wow. I made so many clones, I think. It's getting kind of glitchy, I think. But my high score now is 40. Oh, yeah, Melissa. My new high score is 40. I, and I'll stand by that. You know, I'm proud of that 40. I worked hard for that 40. So I'll stand by that. In this game that I just made, my high score is 40. What is yours? I can pop 40 balloons in 30 seconds. Oh, wow. That was quick. Yes, Nava, you beat my score. You did 56. Um, yeah. But yeah, guys, you can also cheat, right? Because this change score number, change score by 1. You can say change score by 5, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. You know, you can make that change score number as big as you want. All right, that's the code. Yeah, no, that didn't take a while. That, that You guys beat my score right away. Yup. 70. Seriously? Oh, man. Okay, all right, guys. I'm going to click on share. And if you want to check this project out, you can go to scratch.mit.edu slash projects slash 495-515-343. Awesome. Yes. And you can go and check out this project. You can remix this project. You can remix this project. You can go ahead and play it again. And boom, boom, boom. Look at this. It's a fun game. I dig it. 
Sounds would be uh, better though. Yeah, if we could add sounds. And friends, if you want, you can like and comment on this project. Okay, are you ready for the cahoots? Are you ready for the cahoots? Yes, and for this Kahoot, I'm going to choose 80s vibe and blast that sound. Friends, this Kahoot out. Oh, and the Stonks is here. Yes, April is here. Okay, now. Oh, uh, Ice Cream Abby is here, Eureek is here, and Marcus is here. Alyssa is here. Yes, friends, you're gonna go to kahoot.it and enter the pin 92682. So who is here? Not gonna win is here. Rich the Gamer is here and Erechan Nava is here. Queen is here. Oof. All right, friends, I'm about to get started in three, two, one, and let's go. Yes, this Kahoot will be about video games. Let's see. Okay, who is this? That's the question. Who is this? Is it Donkey Kong? Is it Mario? Is it Yoshi? Or is it Luigi? I don't know. Well, you have a lot of time to answer. Remember friends, the faster you answer, the more points you get. It's a big part of this. And yes, thanks Tristan, thanks Abby. Yeah, we do, we do get some randoms in here. Boom, okay, everyone got that right. All right, you guys know who Mario is, okay. All right. All right, who is this? That's right, that was Steve. That was quick. Wow. Oh. All right, next question. Who is this?
Yes, Nava, that is Toad from the Toad Kingdom. Is he really from the Toad Kingdom? Oh, Nava, you climbed up three spots. You might be going to the top. Who is this? I don't know. It could be Luke Skywalker. I mean, it could be, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Hey, Yoshi is also a turtle. Huh, I just kind of noticed that connection. Both Bowser and Yoshi, they're both turtles. Oh wow, okay, Ice Cream Abby is in second place now, and she's on fire. Abby, you're on fire. Who is this? Three of you said Trigger Happy. I don't know who Trigger Happy is, but yes, this is Kirby. If you play a lot of Nintendo games, you might recognize that. Oh, oh, things changed. Okay. Who is this? <sighs> let's see. Let's see if everyone is gonna get this right. You, you might not. I'm not sure. It could be Sonic, right? Boom, okay. Yes! Pikachu is the correct answer. Pichu? Might be a different kind of... Um, Pokemon. Ooh. Who? Question mark. Is on fire. Who? You are on fire. Just FYI. Alright, who's this? This is not how he looks like in the game, but in the cover of the game, he looks like this. Or she, I don't know. Bam! Yes, that is Pac-Man, one of the original video games. Okay. Who is this? Wow. Again, Nintendo reference. Could be Peter Pan. That's what I was thinking too. Totally looks like Peter Pan. Bam! Oh yeah, I got you guys. Two of you said Peter Pan. This is Link, a video game character from Legend of Zelda, I think. Bam! Who is this? Wow. V very uh, unpredictable questions. Who is this? It could be Diddy Kong.
Yes, Sonic is the correct answer. Alan is stonks is in first place right now. And you are on fire, Alan. But Ice Cream Abby is right behind him. Like less than 50 points. And then who? Question mark is there. And then Not Gonna Win is very close too. And then Rich the Gamer is super close. So it's gonna be a close one, everyone. Okay, who's this? It could be Yoshi. Beep, bop, skibidi bop, bop. Mm. That was quick. Yes, uh, red. This is red from Angry Birds. Boom. Who is now in second place? And Abby is in third place now. We have three more questions, everyone. Who is this? Is this Kirby? Is this Diddy Kong? Is this Samus? Or is it Mario? <laughs> Reds. Why is it always the red that's the suspicious ones? Diddy Kong is the correct answer, yes! Alright! Oh. Rich the Gamer, by the way, you are on fire. And who, question mark, is in fifth place now. He was just, uh, they were just in second place. Let's vote Kirby out. I don't, I don't know if it works that way. All right, two more questions. All right, who is this? Is this Link, Frodo, Zelda, or Samus? It could be Frodo. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> yes, this is Samus. Who has like a... She has like a cannon. As an arm. It's kind of cool. Boom! Who? Where did you go? Who? And now TS April is in fifth place. Ice Cream Abby, you are on fire. Okay, but there's like about 100 points difference between first place and second place. Same between second place and third place. And the same is really close. This is the last question. I don't know how it's gonna end. But friends, you all did a really, really good job in this video game character, Kahoot. Last question. Who is this? This is not an easy one. Who is this? Yeah, Tristan, I thought that Samus was a boy too. Uh, I think in the story, Samus is a girl. Unless I have it wrong, I'm not sure. It could be Elsa, Abby. Yeah, you're right. It could be Elsa. <laughs> oh, I thought... I didn't know there were so many princesses, first of all. I thought this was Princess Peach. But it's actually Princess Rosalina, apparently. <laughs> yes, you tried, guys. You tried. Let's uh, see the podium. Okay. Okay. Third place goes to Alan is Stonks. Oh. Third place is Alan. Okay. Second place is Rich the Gamer. What? And first place is... 
Ice Cream Abby, wow. Not gonna win, got fourth place, and TS April is in fifth place. That was crazy game. That was a crazy game. Out of nowhere, Alan was at the first place, and then he fell to the third, and then Rich the Gamer was like, I don't know where he was, I think in fourth place, and then went up to second, and then Ice Cream Abby took first place. Congrats, Abby. Wow. Boom. Well played. You all must be doing your homework really well by playing video games and finding out about video game characters that you got, all of you got 62% correct of the entire questions. All of you all together. Another, another, unfortunately, we, I don't have the time. We don't have the time for this, for an, another Kahoot. But friends, if you haven't already, I, I don't know. Uh, most of you seem to have liked and subscribed as well. Uh, please. And I'll see ya next week. Yes, every, every Tuesday I do this coding live stream. And just like this, at the end of it, um, we play a Kahoot. I don't know what the next Kahoot is going to be about, but I'll, I'll make something for you guys. And say bye to YouTube. Yeah, say bye to YouTube. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>